true living God. We can never give enough thanks and praise to Almighty God Allah for seeking us out and raising one from among us to guide us back into the knowledge of God, self, and the devil. Yes, sir. Speak none other than our messenger, the last and greatest messenger to we, the people here in Wilson, North America, and all over the earth, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. So how's everyone doing today? Yes, sir. Fine, sir. It is good to see everyone here when we could be out with our friends, our families, participating in what they're doing today. You know, uh, following the way of the heathen, that the Bible said. Yes, sir. Sir. Because they know the truth as well as we. Yes, sir. But they don't care. They just want to be out doing something. Every day we should be together in the family spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every day. Yes, sir. Every day we should give thanks to Almighty God. That's right. For just being right. able to get out of the bed in the morning. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For our health mm -hmm. and for our families, our loved ones. That's an everyday thing. Yes, sir. So we don't take a particular day to worship right. uh, Allah. We yes, don't sir. do that. Every day is we worship Him. We right. should pray at least what? Five times a day. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's right. But we should always constantly remember Almighty God Allah. That's right. yes, sir. When we on a journey, we should pray to Allah to get us to where we're going. That's right. That's right. We should pray to Him to get us home. Yes, sir. We should pray to Him for sustaining us. Yes, sir. We should pray to him for everything that we can think of. Yes, sir. For without him, we're nothing. That's right. That's right. We're nothing. Yes, sir. Look at our people who walk around this world, who believe in Christianity. That's right. Think about it. They have no hopes and no desires. They hope and desire is to die one day and hopefully they meet Jesus. That's what they say. <laughs> they hope and desire is to meet or have everything handed to them after they are dead. That's right. That's right. But they don't believe that. Because if they believed everything was going to come to them after they were dead, they be committing suicide left and right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. So they don't believe in that teaching. They're trying to get more healthier every day. That's right. That's how they act. Every day you see the commercials, fitness commercials, eating commercials, getting healthier. They're trying to live longer. They're trying to outlive the black man and woman. Think about it. While the black man and woman who believes in Christianity is eating more hog, more right. chitlins, more <laughs> right. pig feet, right. sucking on the toes of the pig. Right. Think about it. <laughs> man. That's right. That's right. That's right. We are taught by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad that those are the cheap foods. Yes, sir. The food that the master didn't want. That's right. That's right. That food is the food they passed down to the slaves. That's right. That's right. Think about that. They kept the pork chop, the good slices of the pork. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, all pork is no good. Right. But I'm just stating the fact that they kept the best part yes, of the pig the as stuff. they seen it for themselves. That's right. And the rest of it they throw it away as waste. That's but right. they had to feed the slave so they gave them what they didn't want. That's right. They always give us what they don't want. That's right. That's right. And we love them because they give us nothing. That's right. And our people took that food. Being as resourceful as they are or were, they had to still eat. That's right. So they made it they tried to make it taste good. That's right. But I was at a, a friend of our 
ours when we was young, we grew up with him. I went by his house one day, and he was cooking chitlins. Oh. I ran up out of there. <laughs> right. <laughs> I wonder how can you eat something you can't stand the smell? Right. We like all this is good. Yes, right. I barely can eat peas because of the mushiness in them. <laughs> <laughs> and you eat, tell me you eat intestines? Right. We haven't got out of that slave mentality. Yes, sir. That's right. Even we as Muslims still have that slave mentality that has been embedded in us for over 400 years. That's right. We have that slave mentality that I'm going to stay by myself. I feel safe. I don't want to be together with nobody. Nobody doing anything positive. I want to be recognized by myself. That's right. In the master eye, I want to stand out. I don't want to join or unite with nobody. That's right. Because I don't want the heat from the white man. How are we going to do anything if we can't pull our resources and be as one? Good question. How can we build schools for our children? How can we build another your supermarket for our people? Yes, sir. Good question. In every city in America. Yes, sir. How can we build uh, banks? Mm -hmm. And if we pull our resources and build banks, look what we can do for our people and our communities all across the earth. Right. That's true. Think about true. that. We have to come together in unity. That's right. We need farmland to feed our children. Yes, sir. We need farmland for jobs for our people. Yes, sir. But nobody really wants that. That's right. Muslims just want to talk about it. That's right. We talk a good game these days. That's right. So we in this city and that city, we can say what we want. That's right. They say nothing is compulsory in Islam. That's what we're taught. That's what we're taught. But in Islam, Allah gives us commandments. He gives us rules and regulations. The messenger gave us the restrictive law. That's right. It's nothing compulsory in Islam. It's your willingness to be a Muslim, a submitting one. That's right. A Muslim is one who submits his or her will to do the will of Almighty God Allah. That's right. Islam means submission to the will of Almighty God Allah. That's right, brother. So if we are Muslims and we submit to Allah and believe in Islam, then we are submitting ones. That's right. So we are one with the Creator. Yes, we are at peace. We can find peace within ourselves. Yes, sir. But we don't want to submit to the restrictive law. Mm -hmm. So our excuse is there's nothing compulsory, compulsory in Islam. Mm -hmm. huh? A cop out. Yes, sir. It's your choice. Yes, sir. When you say I'm a Muslim, then that compulsory is not in your vocabulary. That's right. Because you chose That's right. to follow Allah's word. That's right. The Bible tells you, offer you life and offer you death. Therefore, choose life that you may live. That's right. That's right. The Bible, Allah is giving you a choice. That's right. Choose Islam and live or choose Christianity and live. He's not forcing you and I to do anything. That's right. So there's no compulsory there. 
It's your choice. Yes, sir. So our people cop out with that. Because they don't want unity. The law is not in force. Nowhere. So if we come together in unity, the law will be enforced. That's true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. So you can't hide in your city. I can't hide in my city and do what I want. That's, that's right. right. And that's the thing. Yes, sir. So we all over social media saying whatever we want to say, but nobody knows anybody. And they want to keep it like that. But you say you're a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad? Mm. Think about that. His job, he said, was to unify the black man and black woman. That's right. That's right. That was his job. That's right. He said he had a hard job, but he never gave up. That's right. That's right. And look at us today, followers of the messenger. Yes, sir. Not in unity. Yakub put his law in. Did he not? Right. It took 600 years to make the devil. 600 years to make the devil. So his law was in place and it was enforced. And for it to be enforced, it had to be someone in control. Because Yakub was dead. Yes, so it was somebody in control to enforce the law. That's right. There was somebody in control to say that baby came out too dark. Kill that baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're right. There was somebody to say that baby is lighter than his parents. Yes, sir. That's a blessed child. Take care of that child. Nurture that child. Yes, sir. That's the law. Yes, sir. Mm. Somebody had to enforce it. That's true. Right. Yes, sir. Is it going to take us 600 years? <laughs> huh? Mm. To come together in unity? Mm. When we are taught by Allah and His Messenger, and Brother Minister mm. always said we have supreme wisdom. That's right. right. And we can't apply supreme wisdom. We are in a serious time today. Yes, yes we are. If we don't come together in unity, we're going to die. The masses of our people are going to die. That's right. This devil said, Give me six days to rule. Yes, sir. That's right. Respite me to the day that they are raised. Mm -hmm. And you won't find most of them thankful. That's right. Give me six days to do my work. That's what he has. That's what and it says the seventh day belongs to God. That's right. This devil has been working and working and working. Probably better than it was, was expected of him. He has shown you that you and I are gods. He come from us, yet he can tell you the color of your baby eyes before it is born. Yes, right. mm. In the scripture, Allah says, I know the baby in the womb, what it is, yes, sir. what it look like, what is designed. Now the devil can do the same to show you and I that God is in us That's to right. show you and I we are gods especially since he come from us That's a right. grafted man with a grafted brain yes sir think about it that's right yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. teach brother mm -hmm. the honorable Elijah mama teaches us that this devil gets up in his planes and sees the clouds that's true mm -hmm. huh? when he need rain that's what he does he sees the clouds and rain comes down an act of God. Mm. Our lesson teaches us the sun and moon having the attracting power on our planet draws up mist of water and fine mist into the earth rotation until it becomes heavier than gravitation. It distills back into the earth in the form of rain, ice, snow, depending on the current it was in. That's right. That's right. Teach. That's right. 
So here you have the white man, the grafted man, the devil, right. making it rain when he needs it. And the law, or what he ordained by nature to do, make it rain. He's doing the same thing Allah is doing. Yeah. Huh? Think about it. The devil say they will believe, thinking they will believe in believing in you, but they will believe in me. They will be believing in me. That's what the devil said. What he say in the Bible? When it says, Oh Lucifer, son of the morning, how I thought falling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Lucifer said he will be like the most high. That's right. Hmm. Think about it. That's what he's being, like the most high. Yes, this devil is working his power day and night. That's right. In the minds of not just Christians, in the minds of Muslims. Mm, yes, speak on that. There you go. Because we're not like as Jesus said, I am in the world, but I'm not of it. We are in the world and we participate in the world's actions. That's right. In the world's deeds. That's right. I am in the world, but I'm not of it. That's right. That's how we should be. Yes, sir. The devil offered Jesus all of everything that he saw. Yes, sir. I'll give you all this if you bow down to me. That's right. Jesus said, why should I bow down to you? All that I see is my father's. That's right. Think about that. I'm going to get it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. That's what the messenger taught us. Accept your own and be yourself. That's right. What is your own? Good question. A righteous Muslim. That's right. And if you are a righteous Muslim, you are an heir to your father's throne. That's right. You are joint heirs. We are all heirs to right. our father's kingdom. That's it. Right. This is my father. This is my brother. I have other brothers. Yes, sir. I have the right to my father's estate. Yes, sir. That's right. Huh? This is my earthly father. I have the right to what is belongs to him. You don't have the right with the, of the things that belong to him. I do. And my yes, brothers. Sir. Yes, sir. But we're not talking about uh, this earthly father, God's vice germ of each one of us. We all have one. We're talking about Allah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He is all our fathers. That's right. That's right. Every one of our fathers is Allah. And we are heirs to everything that he has. That's true. That's right. That's right. There's no bickering. Huh? There's no fighting. That's right. Because when you love your father and you submit to your father and you do what your father's will is, he will give you anything he can. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said in the message to the black man, he said, We were lost. We were lost. And another man raised us. That's right. <laughs> Teach. Another man raised us. Think over that. Mm -hmm. Think about it. But he said when our father came and fought us, we didn't want to go with him. That's right. Think about it. Because this man who we call father today. Mm. Why wouldn't you want to go with your natural father? That's right. Think about it. He did not uh, send you away. He did not uh, 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 abandon. abandon you. That's right. You was taken from him. That's, That's right. right. It's true. Thank That's you, right. sir. If my son was taken from me, mm -hmm. I would search for him. Yes, yes sir. sir. Like you see the people in the news when their child is missing, they search. That's right. 
They search to the day they die. That's right. For, I don't care if they have four or five sons. They search for that one son. That's right. Or that one daughter. That's right. Because that's a part of them. That's right. Not that they love the other son, the son that's missing more. But that's a part of them. If your son dies, how does your heart feel? Yes, sir. So if your son is taken away, your heart feels that. Yes, sir. And you want to replace that empty feeling by doing whatever's necessary to find in your child. Right. Right. And hopefully when you find your child, you want them to say, you're my dad. <laughs> I need to get to know you. Take me with you. You know, I appreciate what you did for me, but this is my father. That's right. Yes, sir. He looked like me. I'm black, you white. <laughs> yes, sir. Teach, brother. We have to turn back to our father. That's right. And accept our father. He is searched for us, as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us. Yes, sir. To get us into the right state of mind so he can take us home. Yes, sir. So we have to let go of this devil mentality. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In all aspects. You can't love your house. You can't love your cars. You can't love your money. You can't love your position in the white man's world. That's, right. That's irrelevant mm -hmm. yes, sir. to yeah. God, mm -hmm. to Almighty God Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. Yes, That's sir. right. That's irrelevant. That's right. And we're not free. That's right. We sitting around here walking around like thinking we free. One brother in, in, uh, says, let me show you what it looked like to be a free black man in America. <laughs> Boasting, I'm free, I go anywhere. You're not free, not according to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. That's right. He said, as long as we are in the bounds of this country under white, the white man's rule, yes, we are not free. That's right. That's right. And I have it on tape. Yes, sir. He said, you are not free until you have your own, That's true. That's right. your separate state or country yes, sir. where That's right. you develop the things that you and your people need. Yes, sir. That's right. Then you are free. Yes, sir. That's because right. you have your own. And to be free, you have to have your own. That's right. You can't be free uh, accepting and taking and not making your own. You can't be free dependent upon somebody else. That's right. Even when you live with your parents, you're not free. You're dependent upon your parents. That's right. When you step out of your parents' house, then you are free of your parents. Because you got your own. So we as a people are not free. That's right. Not one individual can say I'm free. Think about that. You can't put yourself above nobody. That's right. That's it. We are all captives. Mm -hmm. That's right. Nobody. Yes, sir. Still. Yes, sir. That's right. Not until we come together in unity and do something for ourselves. That's right. And quit talking about it all over the place, and then when you question about it, you don't want to say nothing else. Mm -hmm. That's right. Brother Minister Basil Muhammad has been saying this over 50 years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you will soon see the tapes because they will begin put out. That's right. You think he just popped on the scene today? That's right. You're going to see video, DVDs from him from every year up until today. Yes, sir. And you will see that this was nothing new that he was trying to do. That's right. He's been doing this since his teacher, his father.
father left. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. He has not changed. He has not deviated. That's right. He's teaching and preaching unity for you and I. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. So we can have something. That's right. That's right. That's right. He just want to be here to see it happen. Hmm. Yes, sir. He worked his whole life for the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, That's sir. right. We don't even know the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. I seen him. I don't even remember seeing him, but I was a baby. Yes, sir. But he lived with the honorable Elijah Muhammad. That's Talk right. About the honorable Elijah That's Muhammad. right. Yes, yes, sir. That's right. I said years ago, over 15, 20 years ago, in psychology, a strong, dominant personality takes over a weaker personality. Is that not right? That's right. So if you're around somebody whose personality is dominant, you start picking up those traits and attributes of that person. That's right. So when you hear Brother Minister Basir speak, he sound like the messenger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's not acting. No, this is who he is. Yes, sir. Right. Right. I want to say God, uh, the messenger put his mind in, in this person, this person. We're not talking about that. We're talking about uh, the messenger putting what needed to be put in this brother. Yes, sir. That's right. For the benefit of the people. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Teach, brother. He just want to see what his father was is not physically here to see. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. And the people are turning their backs. That's what they do. Yes, not on him. You're turning your backs on the messenger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're turning your backs on Master Farad Muhammad. Yes, sir. Because you say it yourself. <laughs> the messenger said he had a hard job unifying the people. Yes. And you are the reason why. Mm, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Teach, brother. Because if you love the messenger and Master Farad Muhammad as you say you do, you wouldn't let anything get into way in the way of trying to build that basis of unity of the black man in America. That's under the right. guidance and teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad to get us back, not where we was, but surpass that. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. To be a force that is reckoned with. Yes, sir. That's right. Power. Mm -hmm. What power do we have? Think about Good question. The messenger had power in his when he was among us. Yes, <coughs> Take your time. He had power. The devil would escort the messenger. That's right. That's Wouldn't right. let nothing happen to the messenger. That's right. Think about it. You said a nation within a nation. Mm. We don't got nothing in this nation. That's right. Nothing. That's right. Well, we got a bean soup store over there, a bean pie store over there. Huh? That ain't nothing. That's right. The messenger had hospital. Huh? Yes, sir. Banks. Yes, sir. Farmland jets. That's right. right. Huh? Yes, sir. Brother Minister said one time, he's telling the story and he said it was two boys on the plane and yes, one was white and one was black. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, sir. And he, yes, sir. he said, one, one of the white boys said, well, my father uh, owns the plane. What do your father own? That's right. That's right. My father owns the air. The space that your plane is flying through. Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's where it goes. That's a long time. <laughs> but still, God owns everything from That's the heaven, the earth, and everything in between. That's right. That's it. Yes, sir. Allah created everything in between. That's right. That's right. Men made the plane, so it's flying through Allah's airspace. Yes, That's sir. right. That's right. So our Father owns the air. That's right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Our father owns the air that we breathe. Yes, sir. That's it. We wouldn't be living. It says Allah breathed into man the breath of life. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. And man became, we became a living soul. That's right. That's right. And when we die, what do we do? 
We exhale. That's right. Mm. That's it. The breath is out of you. The life is out of you that Allah breathed into it. That's right. And Allah consumes everything. Yes, sir. And our people are so mixed up, thinking that they're going to see a dead relative. That's what Christianity teaches. That's what they do. That's what they teach. They're going to see a dead relative. Mm -hmm. No way. <laughs> Today is a day that our people are more lost than ever. Yes, sir. That's right. Think about it. More lost than ever. And we have Brother Minister in our midst yes, sir. today. Praise be God. It feels good when you come up here. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> it feels good. Yes, sir. And I know you've seen Brother Minister, he's been feeling better and better. Every time he get in front of you. Yes, sir. He's blessed. Praise be God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Look at it. You would think he's 45, 50. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Moving around, doing everything necessary That's right. to get the word of Honorable Elijah Muhammad Praise out to us. Everything. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful yes, sir. that he's here. Amongst yes, us. That's right. Yes, teach sir. Us and us. That's right. Because our people were dead, Muslim yes, and Christian. That's, That's right. right. Think right. about it. And he can help revive us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just open your mind, open your heart. That's right. Just be a loving person to your brother right. who has a word given to him. By his father, his teacher. Yes, sir. Our messenger. Mm -hmm. The honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, That's sir. right. That's right. So I don't want to take no more of your time. But Brother Minister, he's working hard to get our people together. Yes, sir. And it's, I just needed to get across to you that unity is the key. That's right, That's right brother. So at this time, I'd like to bring up Brother Minister as I greet you, as I met you in the greetings of peace. I salam. Alaykum As salam, sir. most merciful Savior. We, the lost found nation here in the wilderness of North America, can never give enough thanks and praise to Almighty God who came in the persons of Master Farad Muhammad for raising up from among us his last and greatest messenger, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. I greet you, my brothers and sisters, with the greetings of peace and paradise. Salaam alaikum. Salaam sir. We're happy to see each and every one of you here today. We know this is the day that the Christians call Christmas Day. That's what they say. This day, the devil has deceived many throughout the world. That's right. That's right. Not only did they deceive them by saying this day was Christmas Day, who made it Christmas Day? Yes, sir. Good question. Okay. Help us out. Did Almighty God allow make it Christmas Day? Mm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good question. 
Did even Jesus make it Christmas Day? Good, sir. Good question. Good question. Help us out. We uh, have been greatly misled. Yes, sir. We're living in a day and time where the truth must be told. Yes, sir. And falsehood must be exposed. Mm -hmm. That's right. The purpose of God coming was to raise up his messenger so that he could raise us up. Yes. That's right. Through your Bible and the Holy Quran, it continued to teach you that the dead would rise. In the Holy Quran, Iblis, or this blonde, blue-eyed Caucasian devil, was told that God was going to raise one up. And for the rest of those to bow down and worship him. And Iblis said, not so. This white man and his followers. The one that uh, Allah was talking about raising up it wasn't then, at that day and time. That is why Iblis, or the white man, told him, Respite me to the day that the dead are raised. Is that right? Throughout your Bible, we have talked about the resurrection of the dead. How can the dead rise if they are under the ground? Think about that. Yes, Good question. Semen slabs over. That's right. Six feet of earth over. That's true. Yes, sir. Good question. The people that put them down there don't intend for them to rise. Yes, sir. Is that right? That's right. Huh? That's right. That is why Mom's Mabelie told the joke about the man that buried his wife face down. Yes, sir. The people asked him, said, why would you want to bury your wife face down? And he said, because she told me when she was sick and dying because I didn't have no pity on her anymore. But do, she said, when I die, I'm coming back and scratch your eyes out. <laughs> so he said, that's why I bear her face down so the more she scratch, the further down she'll go. Yes, <laughs> sir. We have to understand, brothers and sisters, that we don't expect that dead to rise. Yes, sir. But when you read the Holy Quran, it teaches you that we must believe in life after death. Huh? Believe in a life after death. When a man has amnesia, and don't know anything. When a man don't know his name, his nationality, his religion, his God, or even his language, that man is mentally dead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When a man don't know his God, he's mentally dead. Yes, sir. Spiritually dead. Huh? And Christianity, we have to understand. This black man hanging on a tree 
He was dead before he was put there. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This cross that you see is a sign of death. We live in a land, as the Bible taught us, of the living dead. You know, black people used to call themselves zombies. That's true. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yeah, we used to call them. And not only did we call ourselves zombies, we called ourselves spooks. Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, they did. Yes, sir, they did. And we know why we call ourselves because we were without the knowledge of self. That's right. God and the devil. We were called zombies because we did what the master told us to do. Right. Is that right? That's right. The devil show you movies of, of doctors that created That's right. out of the dead people and made them bring them back alive. That's Is right. that right? Yes, sir. And they began to be zombies. Mm -hmm. And then when these zombies <coughs> began to take on a different personality, wake it up more than the devil thought they would wake up. Then he had to destroy them That's right. because they were going to destroy yeah. the master. Yes, is that right? Yes, That's right. right. That's it. This is what is happening here in America. The white man robbed us of our knowledge of self, God and the devil, our names, our nationality, our religion. We were running around here thinking we were somebody, but we were nobody. Yes, sir. The world didn't respect us as being anybody. Yes, sir. That's right. They said, look at all these people, 50 million of them, in America. Don't even know who they are. That's true. Think about that. The white man so-called freed the black man and woman in America. But as Brother Yusuf said, we were not free. That's true. Yes, sir. You're right. If they were free, then they would have something. That's right. Yes, sir. But they don't have anything. That's true. Yes, sir. That's right. They're still in the white man's name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They still have the white man's religion. That's yes, right. They still worship the white man's God. Yes, sir. Is that right? That's right, yes, sir. The Almaraj Muhammad, with the blessings of God, yes, with the directions of God, with the knowledge of God, began to raise the black man from this mental and spiritual death yes, sir. back to life again. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. When he raised the black man and the black woman back to life again, Beauty showed up in the black man yes, sir. and black woman. Yes, sir. The white man did us like you would do the earth. You place a cement slab out there on the ground. Then you said, well, all life under that slab is dead. But over the uh, time, you will see the concrete break. That's true. Yes, sir. That's right. And a little spear of grass would come out. That's right. Yes, sir. A little grass that you can take it and mash it and with it with your hand. But it breaks that concrete. That's right. Huh? Mm -hmm. Because Allah sent down rain mm -hmm. to the earth. And that moisture coming to the earth, and that little grain of weed come back to life. That's true. Yes, Think sir. about that. That's right. And it pushes the concrete open. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then when that little grain of life come back to life, 
then you see other grades coming out. Wow. Is that right? And pretty soon, the concrete is no good. Yes, this is the way it is with the black man and the black woman. The white man never wanted us to rise up. Yes, sir. Think about a man keeping a people blind, deaf, and dumb to the knowledge of self for 400 years. Yes, sir. That's a long, long time. Yes, sir. Being without the knowledge of yourself and your children and your children and your children and children for generations and generations to come not being able to know who they are. And then this blind, deaf, and dumb black man that the white man told he was free. Uh, he tell his children, you're free. You go to school. Go anywhere you want to. You're equal to everybody else. But when your child go to school, What happens? Good question. He see the Japanese, the Chinese, the Hispanics, yes, sir. the Germans, the Jews, everybody got a name of their own. That's but right. him. That's right. Everybody got a language of their own but him. That's right. And he can't walk among the Japanese and understand what they're saying. That's right. He can't walk among the Hispanics and know what they're saying. That's right. Then he stand there and look like a fool. Because he ain't got nobody that he can walk among and understand. So he makes up him a language. Dog Latin, pig Latin. That's yes, what do that. Street talking. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All these things. But as soon as he make up him a language, everybody else know it. That's true. Right. That's right. That's right. Then he get mad and make him and try to make him another language. Till he run out of language to make. But Almighty God, Allah, have given him a language of his own. Right. Huh? But he don't want his own language. That's right. That's right. He wants somebody else's language. That's right. That's right. Why? Because his blind, deaf, and dumb leaders have told him, we don't want you to speak Arabic. That's right. That's what they said. Your mother tongue. We want you to speak what the white men speak. That's right. That's right. That's right. We don't want you to have Muslim names. Yes, sir. We want you to remain in the white man's name. That's right. We don't want you to worship the Muslim's God. We want you to remain worshiping the white man's God. Yes, sir. You don't want the Muslim religion. That's right. You want the white man's religion. That's right. That's right. But the Bible teaches you that that black preacher is lying because God said, bless the child that's got his own. That's right. That's right. right. Yes, sir. Black men and black women don't have them. Right. The black woman bring babies into the world. And every mother that brings a baby into the world except the black woman speak the mother tongue to that baby. That's right. That's Is that right? Yes, sir. That's the first word that baby hear is the mother tongue of that mother. Huh? Black people don't know their mother tongue. That's right. And then when they hear they say, I don't know how to say that so 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 how you say it's so long. That's what they say. Here you try to dignify them, bringing them into the knowledge of self where they can get self respect. That's right. Yes, sir. They run away. That's right. I don't want to hear it all. That's, don't what talk they to say. That's exactly what they say. That's how they act. That's the same thing that uh, Kongo Kente told the people. 
When they would go among the slaves, say, I salam alaikum. They said, don't be talking that old That's thing. Right. So you get us killed. That's right. But nobody is going to kill you today. No, That's right. right. No, sir. Because they can't kill God. That's right. They don't want to mess with us today. That's right. That's right. When you see a black man standing in America teaching what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has taught. And nobody tried to kill him. No, sir. No, they protected sir. him. Yes, sir. They didn't want to hurry their doom. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. Freedom, justice, and equality. That's right. You can't get it under this. All it has to offer is slavery, suffering, and death. That's true. That's right. Huh? right. But we in the day of the resurrection of the dead. Yes, yes sir. sir. Iblis, this blonde blow out Caucasian devil, don't want us to rise. That's right. You know, the Bible uh, teaches us there was two Adams. That's right. Is that right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The first Adam and the second Adam. Yes, sir. That's right. The devil was the first Adam. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. He was a made man. Right. Is that right? That's right. right. Teach. <laughs> Teach. God, uh, the black man, made him into the likeness. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The second Adam is a made man. Yes, sir. The white man made the black man. Into his likeness. Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. He gave him his name. He gave him a language. That's the truth. He gave him a nationality. Yes, sir. Gave him a religion. Gave him a God. That looked like a white man. That's what they did. We have been great in this land. Yes, sir. Freedom, justice, and equality. No, I'm not going to keep you but a few more minutes. Take your time, yes, sir. Uh, I want to mention a couple of things. As I said before, this is the day that they call Christmas. Yes, yes sir. People are celebrating the so-called birth of Jesus. Yes, yes sir. sir. But uh, I want to read something to you. Double Take your side. time, yes, sir. In the Sacopedia of Britannica, it says about Christmas. It is, of course, true that the birth of Christ began the Christmas era. But we now know that Christ was not born in the year one of our calendar. Hmm. The apostles didn't record the year of his birth. Hmm. And when the scholars monk Dionysus worked on the first Christmas calendar in the 6th century, the date was And it says the date was this is miscalculated by at least four years. Later, scholars have determined that the Christ's birthday must have been between. 7 B.C. and 4 B.C. But it was not, it has not been necessary to change the date of the calendar yes, to correct the error. Now are the event of the exact month and date known. The date of December the 25th was established about the year 326 
326 years after Jesus' death. Largely in order to unify it with Sat the Nether. the pagan feast which came on that same day. Saturnus, Nelia, uh, Satan, worship, they celebrated with sex origins. Mm. This was the practice of Christmas. It was a pagan worship. But they took the name of Jesus and put it on that date to hide their dirty religion. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. Think about that. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has taught us that we see the same thing happening today. They celebrate Christmas with drinking, Gambling, dancing, fornication, all the type of sex orgies that happened back there then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Think about That's it. right. That's what they do. That's right. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad has taught us that Almighty God taught him that Jesus was born in September. That's right. Yes, sir. And that the black man and the black woman is the most deceived. They are taught that Sunday Claus coming down the chimney at the stroke of midnight yes, sir. in everybody's home <laughs> except the black man because the black man don't have no chimneys to his house. And even with that big, burly white man coming down a little skinny chimney, and he never get dirty. You never see him come out dirty. He's always clean. Is that right? That's right. The devil got on the news that Sonny is being seen all over at the same time. Santa Claus is the devil. You see, just like he told you, you couldn't see the devil. You see, the people never see Santa Claus. He come when everybody sleep and leave present. They look for the uh, Santa. Oh, Santa Claus been here. That's what they said. Yes, sir. Nobody ever seen him. Mm -hmm. it, uh, is that right? Yes, so, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has taught us <laughs> that we have to understand yes, sir. that we believe without understanding. That's right. That's right. That was the purpose of the devil. Mm -hmm. That's right. In the Holy Quran, it says in the uh, pardon me, in the ninth surah chapter, in the hundred and seventh verse, about those who put up mass temple. says, and those who build a mosque, a temple, to cause harm to Islam mm. yes, and to help disbelief and to cause disunity among the believers yes, and a refuge for him who made, uh, pardon me, 
whom he who made war against Allah and his messenger before. This is what is going on. Yes, sir. You have people across the country that are setting up temples mm -hmm. to cause more disunity yes, sir. among the believers. True. This is not Allah God's doing. That's this right. is the devil's doing. Yes, sir. Think about that. Just as the devil is helping Christians, he's helping disbelievers. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Turning them against their own. Yes, sir. Setting up temples in disunity. Yes, sir. That's right. Now listen to what he says. And they will certainly swear. Mm -hmm. We desire not but good. And Allah bears witness that they are certainly liars. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. They have these temples and they don't want to unite. That's right. That's right. That's right. But they say we are good and because we are following Allah and His messenger. But Allah know they are liars, yes, right. and we the true believers know they are liars. That's right, that's right. Yeah. In chapter 29, it says, uh, of the spider, do men think that they will be left Alone on sin, we believe and not be tried. Yes, sir. No. Mm. You can't say I believe and think that Allah is not going to try you. That's right. No. Yes, sir. Why would you lie to yourself and to God and those who believe? If you believe, you would act like a believer. Yes, sir. If you believe, you would do the work of a believer. That's right. If you believe, you would be in unity with other believers. Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad worked until he died. That's right. Trying to unite us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Trying to make us understand. After being in bondage for 400 years under this evil and wicked enemy, Allah and God have come to put you in heaven. Yes, sir. Let you inherit that which is His. The earth was built for you and I. That's right. It had been kept from us. From us for so long. Yes, sir. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, We are kings mm -hmm. without a kingdom. That's yes, right. Sir. Huh? Princes without a place to sit on the throne. Mm -hmm. But Allah said, He's going to put us back on our throne. Yes, sir. So all I can say is whoever's sitting on my throne, you better get off because I'm on my way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I thank you. Yes, sir. And may Allah bless you. As I greet you with the greetings of the Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice. Like a sir. Allah has blessed us oh, yes, sir. beyond our greatest means. That's right. yes, sir. The Holy Quran continued mm -hmm. to say to us over and over and over again, yes, sir. why do you think Allah said the same thing 
basically over and over again. Huh? So you won't have no excuse that you didn't hear. That's right. Huh? You were warned. That is the job and the duty of the messenger to warn the people. Warn them. Not to make them believe, accept or reject. That is up to Allah. But warn them. They have to stand and answer before Allah. You don't answer to your brother or your sister, your mother, your father, or your children. That's right. You answer to Allah. But Allah said, everyone must be warned. Everyone. Why is it so hard for the black man, black woman, to accept a warning from God? Yes, sir. You've been punished already too much. Right. That's a punishment that no man or woman should have to undergo. That's right. That we underwent for 400 years. Yes, sir. But now we want to stay here with the punisher. But the Holy Quran said, the punishment that the devil put on you is nothing like the punishment he's going to put on you. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. We must escape. And the only way that you can escape the punishment of Allah is to unite under the banner of Islam yes, sir. and follow the teachings and guidance of God's last messenger, yes, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, so, brothers and sisters, is there any questions? You know, we are getting closer and closer to Savior's Day. And we invite the Muslims, believers, and non believers throughout the country. Yes, to come and unite with us here in San Antonio yes, sir. on the 25th and 6th of February. Yes, sir. On the 25th will be a labor's meeting where we will discuss ways and means of putting the nation back together again yes, sir. as it was. Yes, You know, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us we don't really miss a thing until we lose it. Most of those who say they believe today never lost anything. So they didn't miss anything. But those who came up with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad we lost everything. Yes, sir. We had land throughout the country. That's right. We were raising our own food. Yes, sir. We had cannery centers mm -hmm. where we canned our own food. That's right. Huh? We had cattle. Mm -hmm. We had meat packing houses, slaughterhouses. That's right. Huh? Yes, sir. We had buildings across the country, even at our own bank. That's right. We had ships, mm -hmm. airplanes, mm -hmm. buses. Mm -hmm. We had everything that a nation needs That's right. because we were a nation within a nation. Yes, sir. And the hypocrites mm -hmm. destroyed everything overnight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I used to go out in the cotton fields mm -hmm. in Bakersfield, Fresno, 
and sell papers while people were picking cotton. Yes, I would walk along talking to them, mm -hmm. preparing to meet with them after they uh, finished picking cotton that evening. Who would go out in a cotton field today? Mm -hmm. <coughs> brothers are not built like the brothers were then. Right. They didn't have the love for their leader in teaching as we did then. Yes, sir. It's hard to get them to go out and sell a newspaper. But we would go from place to place, city to city, yes, sir. selling the paper. Mm -hmm. uh, and people would come. Yes, sir. They get the word. But after the messenger passed away, And the hypocrites who were small, they would never change anything. They would leave it like it is. That's what they said. And I received a letter in the mail from Chicago. It said, Brother, your account and assets has been closed. We don't have money, your money, to give back to you. Wow. you know? mm. That was a hurting thing. Yes, sir. You know? <laughs> Letters like that were sent to all the believers that invested money in the bank. Mm -hmm. huh? mm. What happened to the money? Right. Mm -hmm. They had no explanation. Mm -hmm. The land was sold. Mm -hmm. What happened to the money? They had no explanation. The buildings, everything we had That's right. was gone. Yes, sir. Huh? <clears throat> Think about it. The devil, not only the white devil, but the black devil. Right. <laughs> that was among us. Mm -hmm. huh? Yes, sir. Destroyed everything that we had. That's right. So what we are trying to do now is rebuild the nation. Yes, sir. We know what we lost, what we had, and respect and honor the got we got. We want that respect and honor again. Yes, sir. And the only way to do it is to come together in unity. That's it. And put the program of our law through his messenger, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, back together again. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. It ain't like how the doctor just sat on the ball, <laughs> had a great fall and broken all pieces. But we can put ourselves back again. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. He was stronger than ever before. That's right. Because once we get back, we will kill every enemy on the planet right. before we let it go again. Yes, sir. That might be strong words, but strong truth. Everybody <laughs> fight for what right. it says. That's right. Is that right? That's yes. right. And it's time that we show mm -hmm. some backbone. That's right. Mm -hmm. And get ready. Because the enemy is out there. Yes, sir. He's watching. Yes, he is. And Obama just signed the uh, law. Martial law. Mm -hmm. Just sign it. Yes, sir. You know what martial law means. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They asked them for thousands upon thousands of people to register for jobs in the concentration camps. Mm -hmm. To run the camps. Mm -hmm. Everything. Cooks, nurses, doctors, and everything. Guards. The camps. 